So how was your sleep last night? I'm gonna hole punch it and put it in a binder and make it nice and cute. Shorts are just the Levi. <laughs> that was pretty freaking good. <laughs> what is that? You're acting like Little Miss Nash. Get your hands off my weave. My supposed to be name was. Sh What's up, dorks? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? I'm just kidding. If you know, you know. <laughs> wearing this a cute little two-piece set from Amazon. She has it in pink too. I think they have it in blue, green, pink, white, black. But I got her for her in the pale yellow and the pale pink color. I think it's so cute. And then this bow is also from Amazon. Literally everything we own is from Amazon. For me, I'm wearing Rider Wear, sports bra, Rider Wear, leggings, and Rider Wear shoes. I'm getting ready to, I'm literally just good to go. Anyways. We're gonna go head out to the gym. You know the vibes. I was you. Halo. Pay attention to me. So my current workout routine has been doing upper body at home three days a week and then doing leg slash glute work um, three days a week at the gym. up in here. Hit up the gym and then hit up Taco Bell. Sam's in there because they messed up our order. <laughs> we ordered like, oh he took the receipt in. We, he ordered five things himself and we only got four things in the bag, including mine. And then I got this, I got a potato taco and I got cinnamon twists. And they gave us like four items total. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, if you're wondering, I get a black bean crunch of supreme with no cheese and no sour cream. I also get a potato taco with no cheese and I get cinnamon twists. Mmm. We have to go to the Verizon store though because Sam broke his phone. Oh my. What is. Louisiana's bugs are out of control. Look at this thing I just landed on the windshield. What is that? Do you see that bug? Mm. What is that? Thank you. Right. Camera, no fall. Don't touch it. <laughs> Target girlies. <laughs> She's holding on for dear life. <laughs> Are you holding on for dear life? <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I can decide where he's head been. What's up? Sit here because mama has to go get her phone. Whoa. Mama has to get her phone to call Papa. We're gonna call Papa. Yeah. Ew. We're not answering, huh? Say hello, Pap. Where you at, though? We'll call Gam Gam and see if she answers. See who the best grandparent is. Is it Jay Clay? Or is it Pap Pap? Say we were calling Pat Pat back because he called me when I was 
taking a nap, and then he didn't answer. <gasps> Rude, Pappy. All day today, literally all freaking day. I cleaned the house. Looks way better. Cleaned that freaking fridge. The inside of the fridge, the inside of the cabinets, <laughs> up in the loft. Ooh. That's just definitely not clean, but we did the outermost. Looking good. Her room is decent. It's not 100% clean, but it's better. It had clothes all over the place. And we hung those clothes up. Looking good. Hung up all the bows. Clean the shower. Spick and span. Nice and clean. Clean mirror. Clean sink. Clean toilet. And the bedroom's a disaster. I didn't get that far. Okay, we have Sam's PC. What's it called? PVC pipe. PVC? PVC pipe. But we're holding Halo up and she's literally holding herself up. Get a baby. Get a baby. Get a baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. One, two, three. Good girl. <laughs> Woo. That was fun. I'll do it again. You didn't want it though. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, reach, reach, baby. Ready? Hold on. She's has got a good grip. I know. <laughs> Your arm's tired. <laughs> oh, oh. So here we go. Come on, baby. One more time. And then bath time. Oh. <laughs> tired. Oh, that was a lot, mama. Good morning, you guys. Say good morning. <laughs> She's looking at me like, oh. We're about to have some brunch. So don't mind us. We're still in our jammies. Actually, you're going to come out of here. Nick, goodbye, you bad. Nick and Can you put your down? I like stopped getting ready in the middle of getting ready, so I still have to get dressed and all that, but I kinda did my hair and kinda did my makeup. Me and Bestie Girl are gonna have our breakfast. I'm having oatmeal and she's having, I guess, baby oatmeal. What color spoon do you want? Do you want teal or pink? Which one? Pink one. Pick one. Pink? Okay. So how was your sleep last night? Mmm. I guess you gotta eat too. Mmm. Hey, remember what mama taught you? Eat. Coma. I am teaching her sign language, regular English, obviously, and then Spanish. And I'm doing it all at once. And I told Sam, I'm like, I feel like I'm just dumping a bilingual mess on her. I can't even barely speak Spanish. I have no idea with sign language. I just have been doing a couple things here and there. But I feel like it's so overwhelming for her because like, no, Carissa, this is like the time when they can absorb all of that. Like they can learn so much faster than us and grasp it so much easier. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. More. Mas. Okay. Mm. But yeah, so I was having a pretty good week, honestly. And then today, I don't know what happened, but I just got in the worst mood mm. about my milk supply so ugh, I feel like I need to make a sit down detailed in-depth video because I know that the majority of the people watching me are not lactating mothers so it's like hard to relate with it so I want to make a video that is specifically for the nipple niche that way it could reach the people it needs to reach but long story short I feel like I've been struggling to get my milk supply and I just don't know what to do like I ordered I'll show you guys the brownies I order. I've talked about these a bunch and they definitely help. I feel like my milk supply has increased about an ounce in the last couple days, but like an ounce is not good enough. Like I need ounces, <laughs> but it's the Milky Mama emergency brownies. So yeah. Anyway, if you're a new mama, mama to be, you're a lactating mama, we're in the same boat, whatever it is, let me know down below any questions you have because I want to make like a detailed video kind of like on my postpartum struggles postpartum in general my tips and my stories like what i'm going through but i just don't want to just sit here and talk to my regular youtube audience about it because i feel like you know it's kind of hard to relate to anyways i guess we could do a little baby update because we missed her five month update and she's almost six months she's gonna be six months next week and i'm going to lose my mind you're getting way too big okay six month baby update for halo i don't know how much she weighs because her next appointment is next thursday so i'm going to estimate again i'm going to say 14 pounds she's tiny she was only 11 pounds at her four month appointment 
but since her four month appointment we've started purees cereals she's eating more solids so i think she's gained some weight i feel like she's got some chunk in her face and i love it i would say between four months and five months like that span of time was really hard thankfully that's when i was in arizona so i had help from my mom i was around people i wasn't just stuck in the camper all day doing this mom thing alone during that period of time and i swear god just got me on that because he knew and i swear ever since we came back from arizona i don't even know what has gone into her she's a brand new baby she has learned so much she's getting so much bigger she's hitting milestones she's in such a happy positive mood like I just love her so much. I love you so much. She's still a little baldy. She has a little bit of hair on the top, but yeah, she has to pretty much wear a bow. She gets called a boy all the time, even with a bow on. People have been like, oh, he's so cute. I'm like, she really looks like Sam. I'm going to insert a picture of Sam when he was four months old on the screen. Yeah, I officially see Sam. Um, What else? She can say mama, dada, baba, but I will say it's like... She won't deliberately look at me and be like, Mama, or anything like that. But when she's crying, she'll be like, Mama, Mama, Mama. I guess she just like is learning her consonant sounds. But she definitely says Mama, Dada, and Bubba. I don't know if she means it or if she's just babbling, which very likely could be. But I'm going to take it as my baby is smart, and she's saying it so fast. She sits up all by herself. She's not crawling yet, but she will get on her hands and knees or just sit there, and she can, like, rock back and forth, too. Um, she can stand up really, really good when she's holding on to something or holding on to my arms. She is still being supplemented with formula. Like I said, my milk supply has just... Also, when I was in Arizona, I got super sick for, like, a one-day thing, and that one day shot my supply down so bad. She hates books, and I hate it. I'll try to do Bible time with her, and she literally screams. Oh, and gave her a book. Oh, she said, close today. Good night, I love you. You see the kitty? You want the book? You want the ball? You want the ball? What? In the great green room, there was a temple. She loves her ball. It's like a little basketball that Sam bought her. She loves to eat. She's not as much of a cuddler anymore. She gets in her mood where she's like really clingy and wants to be held, but a lot of the time she honestly just wants left alone. She really doesn't watch any TV and I'm not like against it, honestly. I hate those people that are like, I'm never giving my child screen time because honestly, like if you have to sometimes, like whatever. My daughter will play outside, my daughter will get exercise, my daughter will be in hobbies and stuff like that, but if she wants to watch something, like, I'm gonna let her. But one thing she honestly does like and she's learning at the same time is Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel is our babysitter. If you have never heard of her, she's on YouTube. She teaches babies how to sign language, how to talk. She teaches them the ABCs, colors, shapes, like literally everything, like basic learning she teaches and like She's hooked on it. She'll be like this, glued to it. But that's pretty much all she watches. We stopped with Coco Melon just because it was driving me insane. Mmm, mama, you too. Someone is still hungry, huh? Say, milk. Here you go. Look at her. She can hold the bubba all by herself. We just finished breakfast, but she normally is laying down, so this is kind of hard for her. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm not taking it from you. You act like I starve you. I'm just helping. Here. Okay, now you hold it. You hold it. Oh, careful. Oh. She's acting like that's a cup of coffee or something. She's in size three to six month clothing, finally, because she was wearing zero to three month for a long time. And she honestly still could fit in it, but she can also fit in her three to six month. All right, here, I'm gonna put you down so you can take your bubba. How about we lay down? Oh, napping. I guess that's a big one. So she did not nap from literally ever until around four months. She started taking like maybe a 20 minute nap here and there, but she takes a nap every single day, sometimes two, three times a day, but at least once a day, they're still kind of on the shorter end. Sometimes we'll get an hour nap out of her, but most times it's going to be like 30, 40 minutes. She laughs. She smiles. She still hates tummy time. But yeah, that's honestly pretty much it for the update. Not much different. I feel like she has grown so much, like physically. I feel like her face is starting to... Ow! Oh, yeah. 
still the hair pulling queen. Do you not want your bubba? Like I made that for you because you were freaking out after you ate your cereal. I didn't think you'd still be hungry. You tricked me. But like I was saying, I think that she, oh my goodness. Girl, mind your business. Get your hands off my weave. But physically, I think she's getting so big. I literally can't believe it. Um. Um. If it ain't a quick little self promo moment with the dirty dishes in the background, don't judge. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm obsessed with my Bible study. I use my highlighters, like all the whole deal. I read the whole Bible last year and it was the best thing I ever did. So I was looking online for a bunch of different plans and I kept finding like little bits and pieces and none of the plans had like every single thing I wanted. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own plan. I did create a guide for you guys. It's a 22 page PDF. It has pretty much everything that you could ever need in there. There's a Bible reading plan in there. I'll just show you. So I printed it out. I'm gonna hole punch it and put it in a binder and make it nice and cute. And the good thing about this is that you can print as many or as little as you want. So it's 22 pages total, but some of the pages are like worksheet templates. For example, there's a soap study. So if you want to print out as many of those as you want, so you can do soap studies, or you could use this as your template and then just put plain paper to like save printer ink and all that kind of stuff and just kind of follow that template. I feel like that's what I might do. But let's go through this and show you everything. This is the cover. It just says that it's a guide, a journal, and a planner. And then there's a little page where you can write your name. And then I did kind of like a table of contents. So what's inside, we'll go through everything. Okay, so I start off with this, which is basically how to get started. You guys can read all this if you purchase it. And if you read this, it'll help you to really, you know, get into the group of things. I gave you guys some ways to read the word. So if you're just dipping your toes in it, start with the gospels. If you wanna go for a brisk swim, then try a 100 day challenge. If you wanna deep dive, then read that entire Bible in a year. And obviously you can go at your own pace, you can do whatever you want, but these are just like recommendations. How to feel more connected to God, read your Bible, period, per and the rest. Um, here's the reading plan. So it's the Bible in a year. And what I like to do is once I read it, I highlight it off so that I can see that I did it. I like keeping track of it. So you can keep track of it this way, but then another way for it to look even more organized and put together because this is like five pages. Another way you can do it. Oh, it's, I should have put it after this one. I'll show you in a second. So there's the plan. If you don't like that plan, here is a list of other plans you can do. But along with this, once you read something, like for example, Genesis 1 through 3 and John 1, you can go here and highlight off 1, 2, and 3, and then you can also go to John, do John 1. So, I don't know, I just gave you two different kinds of trackers. And there's some worksheets, so there's a SOAP study. SOAP stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. So you basically just pick a um, book of the Bible that you want to dive into, pick a scripture out of it, and then your observation on it, how you want to apply it to your life, and your prayer over yourself. First mapping, if you really want to dive deep into a Bible verse, here is just like the 911 phone book for Bible verses. So if you're feeling any of these ways, I gave you guys a Bible verse that you can look up to give you some encouragement. This is a prayer dump. And I like these because sometimes I just don't know how to pray or I'll fall asleep. I fall asleep every single time, let's be real. But I feel like every single month, so I put for the month up because I want to print these out every month and do a full prayer dump before the month starts. I just give my gratitude and praise, everything I'm thankful for and all that kind of stuff. And then prayers that I have personally for work, for relationships and miscellaneous, anything extra. And then verses that I want to meditate on that can kind of relate to this and some room for change. So things that I want to change and all this can be private. You can literally just put whatever you want. Um, it's between you and God and I love that. Prayer needs. So if you ever want to take prayer requests from anybody, you can write their name down, their need and the date. And then church notes. If you're anything like me, I love taking notes at church. I feel like just so much more connected to the message and I just gain more clarity and I understand more. So. Um, you can either print this out as many times as you want, you can print it out in black and white so you save color, or you can just use this as your template and bring it to church and follow this template so that way you can, you know, make sure you get all the key points. Definitely so happy about this. I hope you guys are excited and if you're interested in purchasing it, like I said, I'll have it linked down below. Amazon, 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 they're all linked down below. My storefront, best pens ever, best liquid highlighters. And I thought these would bleed through these pages, but they don't. So Alahaster, shout out. And then Diverse B, also the best 
as they're like the gel ones. And then my Bible is the She Reads Truth Bible and just a quick overview so you guys can see. This thing is amazing. There's devotionals, margins so that you can do Bible notes. I just got it so I only did a couple things so far in here. But I plan to write all over this. And there's maps and you know, the whole deal. And yeah, back to the vlog. Okay, it's a bit later. I just got dressed so I wanted to show you guys my quick and simple OOTD so I'm wearing. Um, both these are from Amazon, by the way. So shorts are just the Levi's, the 501. I feel like for me, it's hard to find a short that fits my waist as well as my legs. And these ones are it. And then my shirt is from Amazon, just like a brown tank top. Look what just landed on the window. Is that not the same bug that landed on the window at Taco Bell? <gasps> following me. Just have to put a few things away, put all her clothes away. They're all clean. Oh, I need to cut her nails today too. Honestly, she doesn't really mind too much. I just have this from Amazon. Guys, she's being so good. I love her so much. Hi, are you playing in your crib with all the toys? all that later but look at her bows this is ridiculous the girlies don't really have any plans today the noisy night like it just kind of gives off halo vibes yes the silent noisy night it may have been a silent night when jesus came to earth and there's baby jesus little goats have bleated loud and led the grand parade <laughs> that was pretty freaking good their own special ways Ouch. Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever. You're really not acting like a halo. You're really not. You're acting like Little Miss Nash. Oh my gosh, you guys know that TikTok trend where it's like you're supposed to put your name that your parents named you and then what you were supposed to be called? Um, but she was almost Little Miss Nash. Nash fits her. It's just like a sassy little name. I don't know. Like, I want to get a good edit session in. I want to be productive. I'm having a nutritious, balanced, delicious dinner. For dinner, I'm going to make some shrimp curry. It's so good. We buy these already pre-made sauces from Whole Foods. And we just put a bunch of vegetables. And then we mix it with lentils and rice and shrimp and a bunch of seasonings. And it's so good. A little bit of naan. I'll hold you, but don't you be trying to snatch my food. This is for adults. <laughs> it's a joke, baby. Oh, I started to tell you guys this, but my supposed to be name, <laughs> you guys are not ready for it. I don't know if anyone could beat this. My supposed to be name was Shaylin Vega. Can you guys see me as a Shaylin? Vega. I don't know where Shaylin came from. I guess they just liked it. But the Vega, I guess I was supposed to be named after like speakers. My dad was into speaker systems or something back then. I don't know. I think it'll be so funny to read down below all the comments of what your name was supposed to be. So if you know you're supposed to be named, comment it down below. If you don't, ask your parents because I'm sure they remember. <laughs> oh, sorry. I woke you up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. Go night. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. I'm so mean. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go on night. I'm I'm mommy's leaving. Go night night.
when you ball too hard. <laughs> okay, I know. Mommy's so mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're tired. You're just balling so hard. Daddy would be proud. Okay, go night night. Mommy. I know. Mommy is so mean. I love you. Love you. All right, guys. I think right now is the perfect time to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here, I love you guys. This is Millie Bailey. Truly, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll have my Bible study link down below in the description. If you guys are interested in purchasing it, it's only seven dollars, and it's honestly, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. It's pretty good. And also, I think every other video, I'm gonna start doing giveaways. And for winners, I'm just gonna be looking for people that are consistent and commenting on my videos. So. All you gotta do is be a subscriber and comment. But yeah, love you guys. This is Millie Literally, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!